Hello, hello friends, this is Grace here at Chocotour with a Comfy Nest and I've got a project I'm so excited to share with you guys today. Um, so this month is a pretty big month for Chocotour. We have a new catalog, which is so exciting. It's the spring summer catalog is available now. We have a new website which just launched yesterday and it's beautiful. The new website is gorgeous, so if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and do that. Hey Susan, hello, hello, and there's Mimi. When you guys come on, say hello. I better check and make sure that my feed is working right here before I go too far. Hello Cheryl, thanks for saying hello. You're a bomb, you're the bomb, I appreciate it. You guys, you don't know how much it helps me when you say hello because then I know I'm actually talking to somebody and not to myself. Cause it's a little weird to stand here in a room all by yourself talking to a camera, hoping that somebody's on the other end, right? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so thank you for saying hello. When you come in, let me know where you're coming in from. If you're new to my business page, um, type in hashtag new. If you are a loyal member coming back, thank you. Hey, Janet, thank you already. She's sprinkling. Thank you. I give you my heart. Thank you. Hey, Heather. Hey, June. Hello, hello. And there's Madeline. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Okay, so new, new, new. There's so much new. New catalog, spring, summer. All um, of my customers who are VIPs who are in the club, in Club Couture, which I'll talk about in a minute, who are in my monthly subscription group, or who ordered on launch day, which was February 3rd, just this past Monday, you're all getting this catalog. I'm sending it to you. Um, so those folks are already getting them. If you want a catalog too, what I have been doing, which has been kind of fun, is I have been writing everybody's names on these little tickets um, during my lives. And um, then during the live, I usually draw names so I can send somebody a catalog. And sometimes I do more than one. It just depends on the day. It depends on how many catalogs I have. So. If you don't have a catalog already coming to you, and if you want one, um, go ahead and let me know that. Type in hashtag catalog, and I will put your name in that little bucket, okay? So thank you, Mimi. Mimi already did the, did the sprinkling. So if you don't mind, it would help me so much if you get any value from this project that I'm sharing with you today that you share this video, this live feed, so other folks can find the comfy nest. Chalk Couture, they can find me, and I make new friends, so I appreciate that. Hey, Tracy, thanks for doing that. You're a sweetheart. Thank you, Pat. Hello, Pat. All right, so the star of the show today is the new transfer for Club Couture. This is the new transfer for Club Couture. Welcome to our home, and you can see there's a little cut line here. I'm going to cut this here in a minute. I've already fuzzed it. I wanted to have as much time to work on the project as possible. So it's already fuzzed. But there's a little cut line here. And there's a little very faint cut line right, right there. Um, these little dots are berries that you can put on your wreath if you'd like to. Um, I'm going to use this today on our magnetic Aiden board. And we're going to make it. I know, right? Cheryl, isn't this sweet? Like this is a year round, this is an evergreen sign. Evergreen means you can you can have it up in your home all year round. It's not specific to Easter or Christmas or Thanksgiving. This can go up all year round, right? So that's, we call that evergreen. But I'm gonna show you how you can make this seasonal and it is a super, super fun project that I think you guys will love. Okay, so here's the star of this show along with the Aiden board. Now the Aiden board, it's one of our premium boards. It is a chalk board. So when I put this on here with the chalk paste, it will be erasable. But what um, we love about this board and what's gonna make it so that we can make this seasonally designed is it's magnetic. So we can we can put a magnet, like a picture of our dog on there, or we can put a picture of our kids or our grandkids on here. Anything that you wanna put a magnet on and put on your board, you can do that. So this is one of the premium boards. Not all of the boards do that, um, but the Aiden, board design does. So we are going to use it with the home transfer and I'm going to show you how you can turn this evergreen design into a seasonal design, which I'm so excited about. So thank you for joining those of you who are here. Thank you for sharing those of you who have done that. Let me just see if um, I can get the comments up here on my iPad. Uh, Connie says, got to get ready for work. I'll watch the replay tonight. Haven't been able to watch lately. Oh gosh, Connie, I'm so glad you tuned in then. That was awesome of you to come just to say hello. Have a great day at work. Um, Belinda says, catalog. Okay, Belinda, I'm going to start. I'm going to put your name in 
here for the new this is for the new spring summer catalog so i'm gonna get belinda's name in here and i think belinda you've been here before so thank you for coming back thank you for being loyal you um your name is going in here again so hopefully you have a couple of chances in here to win a catalog so there belinda's name got in there hey Teresa. hey sandra hello hello Hey, Miss Maureen from West, she's from Westfield, Mass. Miss Maureen, do you know my family? My brother and his beautiful wife and their children live in Westfield. In fact, my sister-in-law owns a store, Blended Vintage Marketplace, which is just right downtown in Westfield, that cute little downtown. Um, so if you know her, give me a shout out. Let me know that. I, I will be, it'll be so fun for me to tell them that um, I met you here online. All right, let's see who else is here. Hi, Neil, and hi, Kelly. Hello, hello, and there's Lisa Marie. Thank you guys for being there. Here's Denise. Yay, Denise is here. All right, so let's get started. I'm pretty excited. Hold on, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little confused, actually. I wanna make sure that I'm on my page that I can read your comments. Hang tight. And I think I was in the wrong place. Hey, Bethany. Hello, hello. Nancy says catalog. I saw that comment, Nancy. So Nancy Thomas, I want to get the, um, I got your name here, Nancy, on a little ticket. It's going in. I want to get this pulled up on my iPad. So just, I'm going to stop talking for just a second so I can do that. Um, and then I can read your comments better. It's hard for me to read them off the phone where I'm broadcasting from. It's a lot easier. There we are. Okay. Phew. Found me. Found the right one. There we go. Who asked it? Oh, Madeline said she shared. Thank you, thank you. Cheryl says, catalog. All right, Cheryl, let me get your name in there. You guys, if I um get started with the project and anyone comes on and their name you know, pops up that they want one, you're gonna have to remind me to write it down. Because once I get started with the painting and the gluing and all the stuff we're gonna do, I just don't wanna lose out on catching anybody. Hello, Vicky, hello, hello. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. Let's, I'm gonna try, here we go. The stars of the show, here it is. Um, we've got the home design here. I'm gonna cut this now. Here's our new catalog, which is so fun to have here with us. So if I have to look anything up, I can. Um, very carefully, I've already fuzzed the transfer so I don't have to do it again, but I do wanna get it cut so that, this. what this does is it gives you some flexibility to place the words like welcome to our and then home you can place them wherever you want i'm not even going to cut the berries off i'm just going to leave them on there but this allows us to just get um you know move things around where we want them to i want this part to be centered and i didn't cut the berries off i just left them on there but i'm going to center that one and like i said i already fuzzed this so for those of you that know i'm supposed to be fuzzing i already have fuzzed it a few times before we got started it still is extremely sticky actually. So I'm just going to stick it here <laughs> on my apron. I don't know if you can see me do that. That's kind of funny. I'm going to try to lift you guys up a little bit too. Hold on. Oh, I am struggling with this camera holder thingy, you guys. I'm so sorry for that. Let me try to lift you up a little higher, which is what I want to do so that you can see better. I got a new... Um, new holder for my camera and it's just not as um I just haven't gotten used to it that's all all right let's get this off the apron and put it on here you're gonna be so you're gonna have so much fun with this this transfer design you guys I just know you are um it fits on any of the 9 by 12 boards it's a size b transfer which is the 8 by 10 fits on any of the 9 by 12 boards now this board is chunky it is a thick chunky I love this board it's got the distressing already built into it right and it's it has a thick chunky frame so let me get out a ruler that would measure the whole thing for us so the size of the board actually it's like 15 and a half inches by about 12 and a half a little bigger than 12 and a half but um the the board the the chalk board on the inside it's about eight and a half by almost 12. um so this is the nine by 12 part and the nine by 12 boards are designed and to fit perfectly with the size b transfers which this one is so i am going to chalk this um, and actually, I had all of my colors picked out except the color that I need for the for the word home for this part. Welcome to our home. And I think I'm going to do mine 
in the color almond. Um, not white. I'm going to go with almond. This is the color almond. Um, that's the color I think I'm going to go with on this. Just, just for something. It's a little softer. Um, just to try it. Let's just try something a little softer. My paste is feeling a little bit thick, but I'm going to move it around here a little bit. I don't need quite that much, so I'll take what I need here. Um, I'm going to do the home first, just because I'm so excited to do this part of the transfer. There we go. And if you are um, a person, I'm kind of slow when I when I do this. I'm not very organized and I'm kind of slow. So you can do the paste and peel method, which means I don't want that H to dry before I'm done with the M and the E. So if you need to, if you're like, like me and you're a little slower, peel this up after you're done with it. See how sticky it is still. I even, I, um, I did fuzz it, you guys, and it's still so sticky. I got a little bit of extra paste there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water. Let me get my little water bottle and take a little bit of water. And this is the beauty of this whole system. It's erasable. You know, it's erasable on a chalkboard, any non-porous surface. So I'm going to erase that little mistake. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll do the rest of it. We'll go in and do the rest of it. Um, I happen to be a slower. <laughs> I'm a slow chalker. So I'm one of the people who I really like that paste and peel method because I'm not very, I'm not very speedy. I'm not very neat about it. This is real life, girls. I am, um, you're not gonna get picture perfect with me. You're gonna get real. So I hope that's okay with you. All right, done with that one. Um, let me pull this up. It is really sticking on there. When you pull it up, try to be as careful as possible to pull it up. Don't pull corner to corner. Try to pull it up straight on the horizontal like I am instead of corner to corner because they are cut on the bias and you don't want to stretch your transfer, okay? All right, I go into all those details when I talk to you guys in the VIP group. So if you guys are, if you're here and you're not a member of my VIP group, I'm just sticking my fingers in this bucket of water to clean them because I got paste all over my fingers. If you're not in my VIP group, um, make sure you go ahead and join because I do offer a special discount, special giveaway. I have a couple of giveaways going on right now. We have an art contest going on in there, which is really fun. Um, so make sure you do that. Let me look and see if there are any comments. Can I adjust the camera angle, please? What can I do? Let's see. I can try. I'm struggling here. Hold on. I sure will, Susan. I'm going to see if I can get you guys higher up so you can see better. I should be able to do that. I don't always, I really, this stinking thing, just, I may have to like, I can't, um, sometimes I can't get it to cooperate and I think I might have to just use some WD-40 on it because it's really stiff and it gives me a lot of trouble with trying to get the right angle. And it's brand new, so I just need to, I think I just need to grease it up. All right, there we go. Is that any better, Susan? Can you see better now? Talk to me. That's better, Rhonda says. Oh, thank you for telling me. Okay. Hey, Rhonda. It's okay that you're late. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Susan and Rhonda, for letting me know. Connie wants a catalog. Let me go. I'm going back a little bit and looking at um, the uh, the comments. So, Connie, anybody who ordered pre-orders and anybody who is in my monthly subscriptions, either the Club Couture or my own monthly subscription kit, you are getting a catalog or it's already on its way to you. So the catalog giveaway, um, we really want to focus on people who aren't getting it. Um, and Connie, I can't remember. Are you getting it? I'm going to put your names in, you guys. Tracy is getting it for sure. Connie, I'm going to put your names in. Um, there we go. They are in the bucket. All right, let's get this part done now. So I'm going to just grab one of my little squeegees. I have my minis here. I like the minis. They're easy to get in these smaller spaces. I'm gonna go in with the same color. I'm just gonna chalk this real quick and then we're gonna to get to the really fun part, which is making it seasonal. You noticed I did not do the wreath. That's where we're gonna make this seasonal. That's how I'm gonna make this seasonal. So I'm all done with the chalk part on this board. My H came out a little scratchy. That doesn't bother me in the least. There, that font is really, really pretty, you guys. I'm loving that. Okay, my H is a little scratchy. 
looking, it's okay. For, that doesn't bother me in the least. I hope it doesn't bother any of you. Um, of course, when you, I always say, I'm not the boss of you, you're not the boss of me. When you are chalking, if you happen to get a finish like that and you're not satisfied with it, that's the beauty of this, right? We erase it with water and a soft cloth and then you can redo it. You can change your mind on color. You can redesign it. You can now use this reusable stencil on a window in your home or on the front of your microwave or anything that's non-porous that you want to be able to erase it off of. So here's the fun part, right? You see my little bunny here. Um, what we're doing with this, what a lot of designers are doing and we're having some fun with this is we are designing some seasonal things that we can then use our magnets with to place on here to make it seasonal. So I have a bunch of stuff here that we're gonna have some fun with and we're gonna make this seasonal by putting these things on. In my craft therapy group, which some of you belong to, a few months ago we made these mixed media birds and it has a little button for an eye and we used um, stamps and we used um, acrylic paint. So like I can get this on here, right? Here's what I do. I get my magnets, right? So I got, uh, you can do this with anything. Anything that you wanna put on there that, that you think would be cute for a seasonal, just go ahead and put a little hot glue. Um, you could use real glue if you want. You don't have to use hot glue. You can use like E6000 or whatever, right? You're gonna glue that onto whatever you want to use to make it seasonal. And then you stick your magnet there and then look at you guys. Right, he's really stuck on there on um, that way. And then, so this I think would be a great spring or summer with the bird, but the bunny for Easter, right? Um, I have a poinsettia here that I'm gonna, it fell off of one of my plants. So I'm gonna put a magnet on the back of that so that we can do a poinsettia for Christmas. I have all kinds of stuff over here on my table that you can't see. So let me show you how I'm gonna do the, um, the little bunny. Let's get the bunny ready. I have this paper out. I'm gonna Mod Podge some paper on it. Um, I, my sister just sent this paper to me in the mail and look at it, it's like pinkish color and it has these tiny little bunnies on it. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna Mod Podge this on here and then get one of these um, little magnets on there so that we can make this our Easter seasonally themed. Okay, I want one of these white bunnies on here somewhere so it's kind of like quilting when we fussy cut is what it's called. There's like a little, I think it's a like a moth. It's not, it doesn't look like a butterfly, but a moth. And I kind of want that on there too. So I wanna position this so I get one of both of those on the bunny. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna position it where I want so that I get both of those things on here. Okay, I'm gonna grab my cutting board these are so handy to have because I can't cut this on my table, but I can slip my cutting board under here. I'm gonna fussy cut this so that I get that little bunny and I get one of those moths on here, right there. And then I'm gonna come in with just an X-Acto knife. Just gonna come in with an X-Acto knife and um, I don't get too perfect. I'm gonna end up using sandpaper here on the edges of this to like make it a little more scratchy or rustic looking. So I just want to get the basic shape cut out with my X-Acto knife. This is going to be so much fun because we can take our love of crafting and you don't have to. If this is all too much for you and you would rather just have the wreath designed on your board, go ahead and chalk that wreath right on your board, right? Um, you don't have to do all this extra fun crafty stuff, but I happen to be a crafty lover. I love, love, love doing crafts. I'm pulling hard on this just to make sure that I actually got it all cut before I... Nope, there's some places that I missed. So I'm kind of testing it to see. Oh, there it goes, let go. It's really hard to get on those little turns. So I'm missing in here, like in the center of his head. There we go. Now over here, I'm missing. It's these little corners that are kind of hard to get. There we go. So to me, this, <laughs> really cute. This is like fun stuff. To me, getting all this stuff, like coming up with ways that you can, oh my gosh, that's gonna be cute. So let's see how it'll look. Coming up with ways that you can um, just add more crafts 
to our chalk couture to me is a blast because I love to craft. You know, I have a monthly um, membership group. It's the Craft Therapy Club. We get together once a month and we do crafts together. I do one live workshop a month in there and I actually have hopes to add more. I sometimes do bonus content in there um, depending on what the project is. I may add some additional bonus content to help us get ready for the project of the month. And this month there's gonna be lots of bonus content. After the um, main project, I'm gonna be doing a few more live workshops in there for those folks. I love to craft. Is anybody else out there a crafter? Like by nature, do you love to craft? I'm just taking a bit of matte Mod Podge and I'm gonna Mod Podge this on here. I'm gonna look for some comments while while I'm chit-chatting with you and while we're crafting. Oh my gosh, I missed a bunch. It got stuck. My, my screen got stuck. <laughs> Linda says, I just made it real quick peek. All right, you're loading that up with Mod Podge and then you're going to push this on here. I don't care if it's perfectly aligned because I'm gonna show you why here in a minute. We're gonna do something else to it so it doesn't look so perfect. Do you know if CC goes in the Pinners Conference in Minneapolis? I've gone the last couple of years but wasn't into stenciling so I didn't notice. Vicki, we are going this year. We are, that's a great question. Connie says, sunflower for sure. Yeah, wouldn't that be great on here, a sunflower? Hey, Deborah in Pennsylvania. Hello, hello. Sherry says, I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. You would trace and then cut out. Rhonda, that works too. I like using the X-Acto knife. Yes, Cheryl, this frame that I'm using, this, this board from Chocotour, the Aiden board, it's the really thick, chunky one with the distressing. It's $39.99 on my chalk site. This one is magnetic. So this is the one, if you have this transfer because you're a Club Couture member, um, you'd want to use an Aiden board with it to, to achieve this, to do this with your board. All right, so I'm going to put my glue aside. Let's have some fun with this bunny. I'm going to try to make it a little rustic. So I've got my brown paste here. It's, it's kind of getting dried up, but I got it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shop towel. I have like these little shop rags all over the place. Um, we're going we're gonna to distress this up a little. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the tip of my finger here with the towel. I'm going to dip this into the paste just to get some brown. And I'm gonna start staining a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna stain to just like the, the wood itself. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the wood itself. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing to the edges here because I want this to look not so perfect. And if you bear with me, the look that I'm going for, you know, if you guys are following the Comfy Nest at all, if you follow my, my tutorials, I really like rustic looking projects. I like things to look not perfect. I think it gives us a lot of freedom from um, feeling like we have to be perfect in our projects. You know what I'm gonna do? My finger's not gonna fit in there. So I'm actually gonna grab, I have a stenciling brush here that's kind of stiff and I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna pick up some of that paste with this because I'll never, my fingers will never reach in there it's gonna be easier to spread it. So if I wet the paste first, it's going on just like a stain, you guys. So you can just come in and remember, the paste is erasable, so I'm not worried about this staining my board. What I really just wanna do is um, use, it's much easier with the brush, you guys, to come in here and add this as a stain. <laughs> so there you go. I tried my finger, I would have used my finger like, I have no problem using my finger. It wasn't gonna reach in there, so that's why I went for the brush. Oh, way faster, way faster. I got a little shred of paper there. It doesn't bother me because I'm going to use my sandpaper and just brush that right off. We're just making a cutesy little bunny to put on. Look at it, when you thin that out, it becomes a really nice stain for these blocks of wood. It's working out great. Easy breezy, it's, and it's going on a lot better than what my finger did. It's like um, more solid, solidly stained. This shouldn't take long to dry either because it's not, a, it's not a wood stain. We know it's just the chalk paste, which is a chalk and water-based product, so it's going to dry rather quickly. So now what I wanna do, let me wipe this up. Well, I'll leave that there just in case I need it. I'm just gonna go around the edges and I call it muck it up. I'm gonna muck it up a little bit with this brown paste. 
I want to make it look more distressed. I don't really care what the back looks like. I don't really care because that people aren't going to see that. This you could make this a little stand, um, a stand up bunny on like a shelf sitter if you had like a little shelf over um, your bathroom sink or if you had a shelf over your kitchen sink. Like I have a little um, ledge that is a window ledge, and I put little signs up there. This would work for that too. The bunny itself, I got a bunch of them, they're in different sizes, came from craft deals. And if you guys want to order from craft deals, um, <clears throat> they have a great flat shipping rate. And they, um, I have a partnership with them, so I have a discount code if you guys want to order and get 10% off your order. They have all kinds of cutouts. Um, in fact, the heart that I'm going to use comes from them too. All right, I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and I'm going to go to my heart because I want a heart for Valentine's Day. So this is another cutout that came from Craft Deals. Um, I'm going to dry. I want to dry this up, clean that up. I'm going to clean up my brush a little bit and get the brown off there. And then I'm going to go in with some paint here. Well, we can try the paste. I could try the paste on the heart, right? I love this color. It's raspberry sorbet. Let me see if I can paint this wood with this. Needs to be mixed. You can see um, in the time that I've used it last, you can see that it needs to be mixed. I'm being lazy. I'm just going to use the end of my paintbrush and give this a good stir to get the colors all mixed in together. You see how easy that is? This is about the texture that you want for your paste. They do tend to dry out your paste little pots and you can just add distilled water to it and then use anything, you know, anything plastic to, I don't use, I don't use um, tongue depressors or like popsicle sticks because they will just absorb your paste. And we don't want that. We don't want to waste paste. We don't want to have it absorbed in a wooden popsicle stick. So I always use something plastic or the silicone multi-tool. I already use this one for the brown. This is a great tool to have on hand for this. All right, so that's how I do it because I already have my paintbrush out. I'm gonna clear that off. Let's see, I'm gonna get a little more paint here. I still have some brown, but I don't, I'm, I, that doesn't bother me at all because of the, what I'm going for with this heart because I'm gonna make this heart kind of distressed too. Oh yeah, look at this, you guys. Easy. Um, I want a little less water on my brush so I can get this a little thicker. There we go. Look at this. All right, I'm using paste. Now, if you have paint on hand, if you have acrylic paints on hand, use your paint, that works too. I'm just showing you that you can use your paste for things other than um, on your boards, you know, to be erasable for, and with the, with the stencils, the transfers. You can use your paste to paint things, to stain things. It works really, really well, as you can see. So I do want the sides of these. I do want them colored. So I'm going to go in, same thing I did with that bunny. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna stain this with a hot pink. Oh, I got a lot, of, a lot of it there because I went on the back. So how many of you are getting this um, stencil, this transfer? Thank you, Billy, for sharing. Thank you. What, Vicki says it would be my dream job to craft. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you mean? Vicky, I'm trying to make sure I catch up with comments, you guys. All right, here we go. This paintbrush is, it's just a lot easier to spread with a paintbrush. <laughs> I tried my finger, you saw. Uh, just, it's so much easier to spread. And I'm using a stenciling brush, which has a round head on it, but you can use whatever brush you have on hand. It just, this one was close by. And I know it has stiff bristles and I wanted stiff bristles. So that's why I grabbed this one. All right, so I want my edges to be all pink. I want like a lot of pink to be showing. With the board being black and white and with the, um, I used this almond color for the words. I think when we do the seasonal things where the wreath is, if we're gonna replace them with seasonal things, in my mind, I really like the idea of them being bright. Like bright and lots, adding lots of color to it. I'm adding more because I want a thicker coat here. So while this is drying, I'm gonna go back to the bunny, which should be dry by now. There we go. All right, let's put this aside. Let's go back to our bunny. So cute, it's not done yet. Not done. Couple of things I need to do. I'm gonna go in with my sandpaper 
And I am going to just, like, I want to, like, clean up the paper. I don't know if you guys can see the paper is kind of frayed on there. I want to, like, clean it up. So I'm just going to go on the edges, knock off the extra paper, and distress it a little bit so it looks even messier, even more mucked up than it did before, because I like that look. Probably easier to put it down. It is. So I'm mucking it up, and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to play with this stain that I have on the edges to soften that up a little. And I'll show you how I do that. So we get a lot of extra paper. It's fall, all falling on my little craft table here, which is okay. That's, that's what I wanted was to get this extra stuff off. There's just a little bit of extra paper that we don't need on here. And what this is doing at the same time is it's distressing the edges. So they look kind of mucked up, which is my word. It's a word I made up, <laughs> mucked up. It's not an official crafting term. It's just my little crafting term. All right. I don't want to get any paper in my paste pot there since I still have it open. All right, so now I'm going to come back in and where I put the brown, I'm going to come in with just my wet, again, my wet shop towel. And I'm going to play with this brown a little bit to soften it up. You'll see what happens here. It's gonna soften it up and spread it out a little because the paste gets its water activated, like it's getting water activated. It's wetting the paper, it's dirtying up or mucking up, that's the word I like to use, the whole edge, so it really looks distressed. And I'm even trying to get a little bit of that in the middle on the paper so that the paper doesn't look so perfect. I don't want, I want this to look mucked up. I want it to look dirty. I want it to look like it was in someone's garage for ages or someone's been using it as a design or a um, piece of like a decor for a long time. It reminds me, it's the kind of look that reminds me of all the old, old Christmas ornaments that we have from my brother. I have, I'm from a family, I'm the, the 11th of 13 kids. So we have a lot of homemade Christmas ornaments growing up. My parents had a lot of homemade Christmas ornaments on the tree and some of them were really old and I love I love holding them I love imagining that my brother made that in kindergarten and that was so long ago and we still have it and it's still hanging on the tree that's what this kind of reminds me of I wanted it to be kind of that kind of icky and dirty looking but I also I was thinking wondering if I should add a little tail because like I'm thinking this is the back side of my little uh Bunny here, and I was thinking I might just take a, a cotton ball and just put a little, I am, I'm gonna put this little tail on here. I thought this would be so cute. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little tail on his bum. <laughs> or her bum. Here we go. Boop. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cute. What do you think of that? Tell me what your thoughts are. Vicki says, wonderful. I work at a school in the before and after program and do crafts with the kids all the time, but I think adult time would be a wonder. Yes, that's so true. And Mimi, vintage is the right word, right? Vintage. I love that look. So my paper, I can feel it. It's still wet from that whole process, but you saw how I just used my blue shop towel to kind of move that brown paste around on that paper and make it um, really distressed looking. We used the brown paste to stain the edges. I'm not even worrying about the back. If you wanted this to be a shelf sitter, these were created by Craft Deals to be shelf sitters, like they'll sit on their own. I would paint the back then. Um, but because I'm gonna put a magnet on this so that I can put it on my board, I'm not worried so much about the back. Um, I think I'm gonna put the magnet close to the top because the weight's gonna hang down. So let's see, the, the magnet positioning really, it almost doesn't even matter because when I put it on my board, you'll see, I'm gonna do it here for you in a second. Let me just cover up my, oh, before I, before I cover up my paste, I usually add a spritz of water, distilled water to it, just to keep it wet um, because they do dry out over time. Okay, so let me get my board. I'm gonna put this aside. I'll place my board down here and you guys can take a peek at what this is gonna look like with the little bunny. Hopefully that's dry by now. All right, so now here's my board. Let's get this bunny on here. You can position this wherever you want on the board. And then since I have this a little high, oh my gosh, you guys, right? And then you can, you can monkey with it. You can put it however you want. How stinking cute is that? 
What? Do you like it? Tell me your thoughts. That is adorable. In my mind, that is adorable. So now I can switch it out easy. Now I have the bunny. I have the bird. <laughs> and let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a heart for Valentine's. Let's finish the heart. Tell me your thoughts on this. Isn't this adorable? I'm so glad you guys like it. I'm so glad. I'm gonna look up here for my face. Cheryl, I'm glad you love it. Cheryl, both Cheryl said, love it, right? So this, this stinking design, this transfer design, it comes with the wreath. So you don't have to do all this. It comes with the wreath and it comes with the berries. So you can simply chalk the wreath on there. Um, but I've seen a few designers doing this and I thought, what a brilliant plan to share with you guys that we can we can customize this and like put whatever we want on there, right? So let's do the heart. Let's get the heart done. I'll show you how I'll do this heart. So those people who are designers, those people who are Club Couture members are the people who will get this transfer. You cannot purchase this transfer if you're not one of those two people. <laughs> um, the only way you can get it is if you enroll as a Club Couture designer or as a um, Club Couture member, or as a, a designer or as a member of the Club Couture group. Um, it's $19.99 a month. You'll get a transfer and three single packs of paste um, when you join. You get that every month. And so this month, actually, let me put the screen up just so I can look at you and explain this. This month actually is the, um, they have never done this before, but they offer specials to Club Couture members. So this month, anybody who joins the club is able to buy the three ounce pots of paste all month long. There's no limit. There's no limit to the number that you order. There's no limit. Um, it's just only in the month of February, they're getting their pots of paste for 20% off if they're club members. So if you want to join the club, it's $19.99 a month. You get a transfer and three packs of paste every month. It's a different transfer and it's exclusive. Only Club Couture members and designers get that transfer and this happens to be one of them. It's darling, it's absolutely darling. And every Club Couture member, I send you a catalog as a thank you gift for joining. Um, this surface is the Aiden board. Lisa, you can get it on my chalk site. It's $39.99. It's the 9 by 12 Aiden board by Chalk Couture. Okay. Magnetic and it's a chalk board surface so you can erase. All right, let's see. Let me get you down here so we can do this heart. I am um, I was playing with the pastes. I played with the paste here to, to do this, to stain the sides of my little bunny. Um, and I, I painted this. The paste is actually taking a long time to dry. That was really wet paste. So I'm going to take my hair dryer to it quick because I want to add more color to this, to this heart. So let me get this hair dryer going. You can see how it's drying pretty quickly. You're welcome, Sherry. Sherry says, thank you for your cat. Thank you for the catalog. You're welcome. Mimi says, I'm making this for my daughter for her new house as a gift. That's a great housewarming gift. Absolutely. Hey, you guys, we have 31 people on here. So thank you for doing this. This this is affected. The number of people who join us is affected directly by the number of times that you share and the number of people who share. So if each one of you share once, we can double the number of people here. It's just really fun to do that. I'm <laughs> cover my paste. Lisa says, cover your paste. I'm gonna work with it again, probably. I will squirt a little water in it. Does that make you feel better? Yeah, they dry up pretty quick. So actually, um, I feel like this paste color, let me put my dryer down for a minute. This is, oh, this is uh, raspberry sorbet and it's a really deep paste color, but I feel like on the wood, I, I used a little water. Do you see how it lightened it up? So the paste transferring, you know, coming in as using it as like a paint or a stain, it lightens the color up if you've noticed. And I really wanted this to be a very deep pink with some light pinks and white on it. So I'm actually going to cover this up. I'm not gonna use this again. I'm gonna dip into my paints. I grabbed my paints to have them close by um, just because I wasn't sure how the paste was gonna work with painting this heart and I want some, I want some very light pink on this heart too. So I'm gonna go in with my paint. 
Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Hey, Francis Murphy, thanks for joining us. And Sherry, thank you for sharing. Thank you for doing that. It means so much to me. It helps me so much to introduce the Comfy Nest, introduce Chocotour with the Comfy Nest to your friends and family. I'm going to come in. I just want to doll this up a little bit. I want it to be less plain. I want it to be um, have more design to it. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to trace out the edges with a very messy paint brush stroke. You guys, this is what I call heart cleavage <laughs> yesterday in my other, the um, other uh, project that I did yesterday for Essential Stencil. I was working with hearts again. The thing, I would show it to you, except it's in my garage. I'm top coating it and it's in the garage. It was just sprayed with top coat. Um, and I, I was trying to come up with a word for this place where this little point is, and I'm calling it heart cleavage. That's my new term for that spot. Um, and I want to accentuate the heart cleavage. <laughs> I love, that makes me giggle so bad. All right, I want to accentuate that. I want it to be like the point I want it to show. I'm not trying to hide it, I want it to show. All right, I'm just going in here with my very soft pink and a very um, like dry brush so that it looks very grainy. I want this to look grainy and messy. I, I like messy looking projects, you guys. I'm not, um, I think my perfectionism, like I was such a perfectionist for so long as a person in general, um, and I think I'm over it. <laughs> so, I, now I have less paint on my brush, and so when I just dry brush, then you can see the grain of the wood, and I really like that look. So I'm gonna go in and dry brush another level, like one more deep. You guys, know, this brush stroke, and now I'm coming in and I'm adding one more brush stroke in further into the heart with a very dry brush in the soft pink. I'm gonna go here on my shop towel offload a lot because I don't want this to be really as pigmented as that first line that I did. I want it to be softer. But I don't want to lose my cleavage here. I want to see that point. I want to accentuate it. I'm just trying to mess this up a little so the heart doesn't look so darn perfect when it's on my board. I'm just to just to make it more visually interesting. Um, I kind of would like some should I do some black in here or white? Let's go in with some white. Again, I'm going to dry brush. This paint is extremely dry, but it's uh, a mineral based, a clay based paint, and so it, it reactivates with water, kind of like our pastes. All right, I'm going to add some white in here, and I'm going to go in one more layer. It's like another brush stroke deep with some of the white. And I'm, again, I'm just trying to make it look a little more interesting than just a pink heart sticking on there. I can hear my husband's home. He wants to come home to have something to eat from work. And this may not be your bag. Like maybe this, maybe you're looking at this and going, uh, I don't know about that, Grace. That's okay. I'm not offended by that. Uh, you could do whatever you want. I mean, I'm just trying to show you how we can have some fun with this transfer design and this board um, creating something new. What do you think of that? I like it. I think it's cute. So we have like four different colors. Um, we have that deeper pink. That was the raspberry sorbet. And then I came in with the soft pink and I did a, a darker coat of soft pink, a dry brush of soft pink, and then I went in with the white and did that next layer. And I'm really trying to accentuate that point there, which is what I call heart cleavage. <laughs> All right, let me see what comments we got. Thank you, Barb Midgley, for sharing. And thank you, Lisa. She says she loves it. Thank you. So now how easy is this? It's just a little heart that I got from Craft Deals. If you guys want to order the bunnies or the hearts, um, I do have a 10% off code that you can use. I have a link, a discount link. My code at Craft Deals is the Comfy Nest now. So you can use that to um, order these. And if you want to use them, they're like a great size for for my board okay so and I actually noticed I put this this on here wrong because it's repelling you know sometimes if you put magnets the wrong way they repel each other 
but it's sticking to the side of that other magnet. And these are like ultra strong craft magnets that I bought. So word to the wise, before you magnetize it on your thing, make sure you have the right, the correct side. <laughs> so I'm gonna magnet, I'm gonna put this magnet on here. Just make sure you get the correct size, side. I'm doing them a little high. It doesn't really matter where you do it because this magnet you can move around on your board. Oh my gosh, see that's a little high still. I think I would go and have the, the point of the heart because it's so pointy, it's not in the way of the M and the E, but I think that's what I would do. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. So this heart, if you need to know the size of it, if you're gonna order from Craft Deals, the longest from end to end, I think this is a five and a half inch, five or, it's five inches to the heart cleavage, <laughs> five and a half inches to the end of the heart, okay? That's the size, someone's gonna ask me, what's the size? The size of the bunny is five inches, the longest part, and I think that's how they measure, is the longest part of that piece of wood from end to end is five inches. So if you decide you wanna go in on craft deals and order these and use my discount code, the Comfy Nest, you're gonna be able to do that. You've got those two, right? So we have the bunny, we have the heart, we have the bird. Let's do our poinsettia. So this thing fell off of um, a plant, I think, like a fake poinsettia plant or vine that I had. So I'm just gonna take my wire cutters because I can't attach a magnet to that. I'm gonna cut off, I know my tools are always ratty. I'm gonna cut off that little piece of green plastic that was on the end there so that now I can put a magnet on this. I gotta make sure I have the right side of the mag, the correct side of the magnet. And so I'm gonna glue here. Be very careful not to hit your fingers. I have a high temperature glue gun, so especially when they're high temp, it hurts. It hurts when you get that glue, right? Any of us crafters know that. So there we go on that one. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is really exciting, you guys. I probably should have given that one more time to dry, the, the glue. All right, I have another idea. Okay, so here's another one. I bought this years ago at a secondhand store. It just was like, I don't even know, like it fell off a decoration or something. They sold it for like 25 cents. And I was like, I can absolutely use those at some point, all these cute little things. So again, I'm gonna take the wire cutters, where are my wire cutters? And I'm gonna cut, it has like this little garden wire here. I'm gonna cut this off so I can get to the Santa Claus. I mean, I could use all of these, right? I could use the snowman, they're all about the right size. Um, they had little holes in their arms where they attach to each other, but that doesn't even bother me. But look at, right? He's gonna fit on there perfectly. Okay, so again, I wanna make sure I got the right side. And I'm gonna, I'm just doing this a different way. You can do it any way you want. But I'm gonna glue this on here. Look at him. Yeah, I love it. Are you guys just, I'm so cheesed by this. This board is a nine by 12 Aiden Rhonda. And I will update you guys. I will update this feed, this um, video recording when we're done with the live so I can show you, I mean, I can give you all that information. But look at, like we could do this guy too, right? All of these little chips, anything that's about that size. I don't have a little wreath that size, but you guys, let me put you up for a second so I can look at you because I know I love to be able to see you. I feel like I need eye contact. And I know you're not literally here with me, but I still feel like it's important for me to see you and talk to you this way too. I don't have a little wreath that size, but I found this. This is a garland. I found this at Hobby Lobby the other day. It's 15 feet of wired ribbon garland. It was $3.99. I think it was on sale actually. Um, but I can use this, right, and just create that size of a wreath that I want. And I can make it as bushy as I want because I'm gonna use my wire cutter here to cut this, right? So if I did this like several times and then I use my wire cutter, where did I put it? Um, here it is. Then I'm gonna use my wire cutter to like cut off a snip of this. I could probably use scissors. All right, so I, I'm, I'm thrilled with this because now I can make whatever size and they had a couple of different versions of this. Some of them had um, like a mix of green and silver tipped. 
greenery um, and I think there was one other version but now look so I have this little wreath now when I didn't have one I don't need a form I just it's like a garland all I'm going to do to tie this together is I'm going to take the end of it and I'm going to wrap it around here's the other end I'm going to wrap it around itself kind of like they do with that's how it came to me in the packaging that's how I found the beginning of it so now it's solidly together I don't have to worry about it coming undone and then let's see about getting this on the board Nancy says I did the same thing at Christmas right how brilliant is that you don't have to buy the wreath forms if you find these garlands and I found this one at Hobby Lobby if you guys are getting any benefit from this <laughs> do me a favor and share this even if you're catching the replay share it out in the world with anybody who you think is crafty and might be interested in this whole project I would be thrilled with that. I would welcome them into my VIP group. As long as they are not a designer, they're welcome to join that group. All right, here's my magnet. This is gonna fit on here perfectly. It's gonna fit on here perfectly. I just gotta get a magnet on the wreath. I'm gonna choose to do that where it's thickest because it's gonna have more grip there. Like I'm gonna have more to attach to. So it's thickest right here. That's where I tied that little knot or it was kind of like a bread tie. I just twisted it around it. I gotta make sure I'm on the right side here. I'm gonna test that because I did it wrong on one of them. The bunny, I think I have to, nope, see that's the wrong side. So that's the part I'm gonna put the glue on because that's the part that's repelling. The opposite of what I need. All right, thickest part of this, I'm just gonna stick this to the greenery and the thickest part, be careful not to get glue on your fingers as you're pushing it through. But there so now it's stuck on there and now I can oh my gosh you guys I'm I'm just dying with this project I'm dying okay so here hold on and I'm gonna take pictures because I think the visuals the visuals of this like are a thousand words okay hey Kathy how are you Cheryl thank you for sharing thank you for doing that all right let me hold this up we're gonna go through this one more time this is the Aiden board this is the Aiden board it's magnetic, which is fantastic. I used Welcome to Our Home Transfer, which is the um, Club Couture Transfer of the Month. So you must be a member of Club Couture to get it. Now, if you have not joined Club Couture yet, do not fret. If you join now, what they do is all of the extra, they always have more of these on hand. So anybody who joins now, even though this is the February transfer of the month, if you join now, the first club kit that you will get will be March. It'll hit, it will um, charge your credit card on March 5th. It will mail out after that. If you want this one though, when you enroll because you're a new Club Couture member, you can get this transfer. You just add it to your cart and you pay for it by itself and you pay the shipping to get it to you. And then your first official monthly kit will come to you in March. Also, if you are a club member this month only, you can buy all of your paste pots for 20% off, which is a big deal if you're trying to add some more colors to your stash. So February is a fabulous month to join. When you join, you have a one-time offer, one-time option, the day that you enroll, when you enroll, to add, there's a Kickstart kit, and the Kickstart kit, let's look and see. Um, the Kick Start Kit has squeegee, it has a pot of white paste in it. Let me find this so I can tell you. Here, here's the Kick Start Kit. You get, hold on, I want to make sure it's the Aiden board because I think you do. You get the Aiden board. You get this board that I'm using now, the magnetic board. You get a multi-tool, you get a squeegee, you get a pot of white paste, you get the board erasers, and you get the five by seven board. And the kit itself, I think it's $69.99. Let's see, yeah, I think it's $69.99. And you only have one chance to, to take them up on that. It's when you enroll. So don't, if you are considering it and you need that like starter kit to get going, just order it when you enroll in the club um, because they only offer that to you that one time. I just wanna make sure to explain that to you. Does that, one come larger do you mean the kind of are you talking about the um the board itself i'm looking it up now here it comes in three sizes it comes in three sizes the nine by 12 by itself sells for 39.99 if you get it in the kickstart kit i think the kit is 69.99 but you get the pot of paste you get the two squeegees you get the board erasers and 
the um, 5x7 board, which is $10 on its own. So it's a really good deal, I'm telling you. Okay, it does. It comes in three different sizes. It comes in the 9x12, the 12x18, and the 18x24. Okay, the 18x24, that's this one <laughs> that I used to make this. Do you remember the sign that I had hanging up on the shelf for a while? That's this one. It fits the E-size transfers, okay? And this is the same distressed magnetic board. Let's see. I'm going to get my magnet. Yep, this is the same one. So the Aiden board is the only one that's magnetic, and it's such a great thing, especially if you're going to go for this transfer um, and this design of making this transfer evergreen, which is the goal. Okay, so let's go through it. So this is what we created. I'm so excited about this because this was really simple to do. Um, here's the board, right? And I've got, I made my wreath. That can be evergreen. This can be up any time of year, the little wreath, right? My uh, magnets are so strong that it, my magnet for the board came off with my wreath. Uh, we can add our bunny. We can add our heart for Valentine's Day, or I think that could be evergreen. I like it when it's kind of pointing and wonky to the side, because you guys know I love wonky. <laughs> we can add, there's my, my uh, magnet came off again. There. We can add my poinsettia. How about a birthday hat? Wouldn't it be cute to like use um, like some cardstock or some leftover board that you have, like even cardboard and paint a little party hat for somebody for their birthday? I've got my little bird for summer, for spring, right? So this, I'm loving this project, you guys. I am so in love with this and I'm glad I got to introduce you to it. Um, if you are new to Chocotour with the Comfy Nest, welcome. Thank you for coming on board. If you are not new and you're a loyal, loyal fan, thank you for being here. Um, if you have any questions, if you're interested in the club, type hashtag club. I'll go back and read the comments and then I'll be in touch with anybody who's interested in the club. If you're interested in this transfer and you don't have it yet, you're not a member of the club, um, I will explain to you again how you can get it. If you want more information on the board, let me know that. Um, I actually, um, I was telling you that this bird is part of my, uh, we made this in the craft therapy club. Um, it was part of a bigger painting. It was just one part of a project that we did, a canvas acrylic painting board. Um, but this month in the craft therapy club, we are making these, um, farmhouse. They're so sweet. These beaded garlands that you can, you can make them whatever size you want. You can make them with a tassel on both ends. I'm going to show everybody how to make these medallions. We're going to make them in class next week. And if anybody's interested in this hashtag craft therapy, that's what you're going to type in. But what I wanted to say is these medallions that we're making in the craft therapy club, you guys, if we made these not for the garland, but we could make them for our boards, right? These are just three and a half inch wood chips that we um, painted and then we used paper clay and we put, used molds. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use molds in that class to create these. Um, these would be great on that board. I love I'm so, I, I've got so many ideas running through my mind of what else we could hang on these little boards. So thank you for letting me introduce you to it. Private message me if you have any questions. If you're not a member of the VIP Customer Lounge, please join. You're absolutely welcome to join as long as you're not a designer. It's for non-designers only, okay? Uh, why do I need the second magnet? Because, oh, I guess I don't. <laughs> I guess I don't. Look, where's my bunny? Stacey, you're so right. I guess I don't. I like, though, I do like the fact that it makes it pop out more. Um, so let me give you an example. I was noticing when I put the heart on here, it, it brings it out if you do use it. You don't need it. You're absolutely right. But you see how it's about a quarter inch thick? So two of them brings it up off the board a half inch. And I can actually get it to go over the lip of my um, frame, which I actually really like the look of that. Because if I put it wonky, I can get that heart to go over the lip of the frame. So you don't need it. You're absolutely right. You don't need it. You're right. But you could use it if you want it to pop out a little more. Yeah. So there we go. One less magnet to use. Thank you for pointing it out, Miss Stacy. You're so smart. Or Miss Barb. I was thinking about Stacy. All right, let's see. Um, thank you, Sherry. I'm so glad you like it. She said it turned out so cute. Yay! You can have so much fun adding whatever you want. I have my son made a little um 
foam, you know those foam pads that you can cut up and make little, they use them in kindergarten to create things? Well, they created um, turkeys. There's like a little turkey in my office that's made out of that foam that my son made and it, they put it on a clothespin um, and it, the clothespin has fallen off since, but I'm gonna put a little magnet on the back of the turkey and use that for my Thanksgiving one. And that one is really special because my son made it. So you could have so much fun. Let the grandkids create little tiny crafts like that. And then you can use them on this board with this design all year round. So fun. Thank you guys for joining. I so appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you have been doing this, let me pull a name of somebody who's going to win a catalog. Um, every time I do a live, I'm adding names to the bucket. Um, the idea is I want to share and spread the catalog out with you guys. It's a beautiful book. They do a lot of work on the photography in here. Um, and there's a lot of design ideas beside giving you all the product information there's a lot of design ideas in here um and i so i think of it more like a a catalog and an idea book and i want to get this in your hands um they're not made available they don't send them out to customers they leave that up to us as designers um, and we buy them and then i'll pay the shipping to get it to you i'm going to give one away each live is basically what i've been doing so let's give my first new one away for spring summer um, the winner is Connie Hughes Wall. Now, I'm going to pull two names because Connie, I don't think she's here today. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find her and connect with her on Facebook if she hasn't followed or liked my page. Let me pull another name. We'll do two. Connie Ranky. So the two of you are winners today of a catalog. I need you to do me a favor. If you are one of those two people, just private message me um, to remind me because once I leave here and I'm done cleaning up, if I don't have it written down, I will lose it. So please, I'm going to try to I'll take these to my office and try to find you on Facebook, but do me a favor. You'll probably find me quicker. Just send me a private message. All right, you guys, Vicki wants to be added to that group or that, um, Bucket. Where's my pen? I will do that for you right now, Vicki. Amid all the excitement, I lost my pen, but I got a pencil right here. So Vicki Cop Dowell, I will add you in there. So once somebody wins one, um, if you've already won a catalog or you already have a catalog, then I'm going to um, just send you a different treat. I'll send you some other little goodie for Chalk Couture. Uh, from Chalk Couture, The Comfy Nest. All right, you guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. Thanks for joining in, and we'll catch you later.